I'm Hans Larsen, a professor and director at the Redpath Museum, McGill University. Like many kids, I was fascinated with dinosaurs and that was shepherded by some very talented public school teachers and then uh, RSC fellow Philip J. Curry helped launch me into this career. My research group focuses on large-scale evolutionary questions and we focus on the transition of fish to land and also dinosaurs to birds and looking at how embryology today in live embryos uh, answers questions or, or gives, us, gives us clues as to what developmental mechanisms were facilitating those, those transformations. We also look in Western Canada quite extensively uh, on the end Cretaceous mass extinction to learn how the entire ecosystem at that time, 66 million years ago, was changing uh, in the face of a mass extinction that killed off 75% of all life. This research fits well with Canada, partly because of the student training and technician training that, that goes into it, but also because we're discovering new dinosaurs, new fossils, new rocks, uh, whole new ideas and ways to integrate the sort of big picture of how biology changes. I'm Miriam Denov and I'm a Canada Research Chair in Youth, Gender and Armed Conflict and I teach at McGill University. And my work uh, explores the impact of armed conflict on children and families and there's sort of three core elements to it. One looks at the realities of child soldiers and their reintegration in the aftermath of war. Another is uh, girls and gendered realities of war and I also look at war and migration. In terms of significance to Canada, each year Canada welcomes uh, thousands of uh, children and families from war-affected countries and I think we need to be doing a much better job in terms of providing services and support to those individuals uh, once they arrive and over the long term. People often um, ask me or infer from the work that I do that it must be incredibly difficult to work in conflict settings and in post-conflict uh, situations. And when I reflect on it, I actually feel very lucky in terms of the work that I do because I get to work with um, a group of young people who are incredibly resilient and who are talented, smart, funny, and um, have the capacity to overcome many of the hardships that they've endured. My name is Matthew Blanchett. I'm a professor in computer science at McGill University. I like to think of myself as genome investigator, although a more classical term might be bioinformatician. So we get to write computer programs to make sense of genetics data mostly. And more specifically, we're interested in studying how the human genome has evolved to become what it is today in order to better understand how each of the different pieces work. Now, our genome is what makes our cells work or not work. And we're all different in lots of positions in our genome, and that's why some of us are su susceptible to developing certain diseases, whereas others are not. Now, we have the ability to identify all these differences now through DNA sequencing. What we don't have the ability to do as well is to interpret all this data to make sense of it and predict who is susceptible to what disease. And this is where our work comes in. We work on better understanding the function of different pieces of our genome in order to be able to better predict the impact of these differences. What do I really love about my job? I get to study the most amazing program ever written, and that is the human genome. I'm Erin Hurley. I'm a theater scholar in the Department of English at McGill University. And my research is guided by one central question, which is how and why does theater come to matter? And so that's to ask both how does theater happen, right? How does it materialize? Um, but also, how is it that theater comes to mean? Why is theater significant for the artists who practice it and for the audiences who attend the theater?
what inspires me in my research is really the contemporary theater artists in Quebec whose work I see and get to write about um, for the ways that they renew and make continually vital this ancient art form. And I think this is the core reason why the study of theater as a humanities discipline is so important because it tells us something about um, this most fundamental human relation. My name is Matt Dobbs, and my research is about making measurements that will help us better understand the universe in which we live, what it's made of, how it was born, how it's evolving, and how it may ultimately end. I build instruments to image the very early universe. This field is driven by technology, developing new tools that will allow us to probe for the first time a particular era at some wavelength in some spatial scale. Today I'm spending a great deal of time working towards a new paradigm of telescope. At radio wavelengths, we can directly digitize the electromagnetic signals from the sky and apply advanced digital signal processing techniques to reconstruct the sky above us. Perhaps the most important thing that my research group develops is people. Young scientists and engineers in our research group get to put their heart and soul into developing and making happen new technology that has clear goals, open international collaborations, and leads the world. In this manner, I expect that their accomplishments and future achievements in science may outshine what they are doing today in our research group. My name is Russell Rusty Jones, and I am an associate professor of physiology at McGill University and also a member of the Goodman Cancer Research Center at McGill University. So my research is focused on understanding cancer, how it arises, how it grows and proliferates in order to better understand ways of treating cancer. My research is also focused on understanding how our immune system functions. And so both elements of these research, this research comes together in understanding better ways for our immune system to fight cancer. Our research is important to Canadians because we're trying to better understand how cancer arises, how it grows, and I think this is important because it allows us to develop new ways to treat cancer. This is a very important health issue for Canadians, both now and in the future. And so we feel that our research is at the forefront of trying to understand how cancer works and how we can develop new therapies in order to treat cancer. My main inspiration growing up and the person who really fostered a love for science is really my mother. Uh, she was a nurse and from a very young age really instilled uh, a, a notion of understanding science uh, and following my passion for discovery.